In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-step form in WordPress. And this is how our form will look like after we have finished creating it. You see that I have personal info as step 1, program as step 2, and then finish as step 3. Before we get started, let me show you what you will achieve by the end of this tutorial. So if I come in here and enter my name, email address, I enter my residential address, then I click on next. In here, I enter my last school attended. I select some courses, then I click on next. Here, I can upload an image, so I choose file, and this is the file I'm going to upload. Then I certify that the information above is correct. Then I go ahead and click on send message. Thank you for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you shortly. Awesome. And if I come over to my email, I see the new form right here. And this is the information I've just filled the form with. This is the image I uploaded. Similarly, you can have access to this information at the back end of your WordPress website. So, if you want to learn how to create a multi-step form using WordPress, then keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So, to create my form, I'm going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to Plugins, click on Add New. Under search plugins, I search for Forminator. I have Forminator right here, that is Contact Form, Payment Form, and Custom Form Builder. I have already installed and activated it. That is why here you see it is active. In your case, you see Install Now button. You just have to go ahead and click on Install Now, then you activate. Upon installing and activating the plugin, you will see Forminator right here. Just hover on it. Then you click on forms. I already have some forms I've created with Forminator. I just go ahead and click on create. And from here, I'm going to choose blank form. Then I click on continue. Next, I enter a name for my form. I call it application form. Then I click on create. At the moment, I don't have any fields for my form. So I go ahead and insert my first field by clicking on insert fields. And the first field I want to add is name field. I select it. Going down, I click on insert fields. The label, I change it to full name. And the placeholder is optional. I'll just make it John Doe. This is just a placeholder. That is what users will see when a value is not being entered into the field. Next, I go to settings. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a required field. Then I click on apply. Now I have my first field added. Next, I add a new field. I'm going to add email field. So I select it. Going down, I click on insert fields. The label is set to email address. I leave it as it is. The placeholder, I leave the example. is going to be a required field. So I go to settings and I set it to required. Going down, I apply. I will add my last field for the first step. And I'm going to add an input field. I select it. Going down, I click on insert fields. I set the label to residential address. In the placeholder, I enter residential address. It's not going to be a required field, so I leave it as it is. Then I apply. Now that I have all the fields for the first step, next I'm going to go ahead and add a break. So I click on insert fields. Then I add page break. Going down, I click on insert fields. After adding the page break on top right here, you see that I now have pagination. So this indicates that whatever field I will add in after the page break will come onto the next step. Now if I click on the edit field icon right here, you see that I have page one and then finish. It means that I already have more than one step. I exit out of it. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. Alright, let's continue.
next i insert a new field and it's going to be an input field going down i click on insert fields the label i enter last school attended the placeholder will be enter last school attended it's going to be a required field going down i click on apply i add a new field and this one is going to be a checkbox going down i insert fields the label i enter in this text i would like to register for the following courses and down here i have options this is where i want to set the options for the courses the first option i enter introduction to computers the second option will be html basics i add a new option and i call it javascript for beginners next i add a new option and i'll enter object oriented programming it's going to be a required field going down i click on apply and these are the two fields i want to add for the second step so i'm going to go ahead and add a new page break so i click on insert fields then i click on page break going down i click on insert fields next i add the rest of the fields for the third step i click on insert fields and i'm going to go ahead and add file upload fields insert fields instead of upload file i will say upload image it's going to be a required field going down this is where you want to enter the file size you want your user to be able to upload at the moment it is set to 8 megabytes i want to make it 2 megabytes you can also choose kilobytes or bytes depending upon your requirements next you can set the specific file types you want your users to upload and the images i'll untick all then i'll go ahead and select jpeg and then png then the rest of the file types i'll go ahead and untick all going down i have other options i untick all i don't want users to be able to add these file extensions going down i click on apply i'll add the final field i click on insert fields and it's going to be a radio button going down i insert fields i change the label and the option i enter this text i only need one option so i go ahead and delete this second option it's going to be a required field going down i click on apply and now i am done designing my form next i go ahead and click on publish in order to save my work it is published and this is the code i am going to embed on the page i want my form to be displayed so i'll just go ahead and click on copy it is copied to my clipboard i exit from here i can also preview the form so this is how my form will look like in the front end i can also give different labels for the steps i exit from here going up i edit the pagination the first page is going to be personal info the second step will be education or maybe program and then the last step i will leave it as finish then i click on apply now if i preview it you see that i now have personal information program and then finish awesome now let's make our page visible on the front end i exit from here i go to the name of my website i open it in a new tab i'm going to go ahead and embed it on the home page take note my website is built with elementor so i click on edit with elementor it should be noted that you can also embed it using gutenberg but for this demonstration i'm going to embed it using elementor inside the elementor editor i go down to the section i want to embed my form and this is where i want to embed it so under search widgets i search for short code i have short code widget right here i drag it then i drop it under this heading and right here i go ahead and enter in my short code that is the code i copied from forminator and you see that the form is embedded i click on update we can preview it going down okay i still see page one page two and finish it means that i didn't publish my work after changing the labels of the steps so i go back 
let's see if it's still intact okay it's still intact i just go ahead and click on update to save my work now going back i refresh the page and you see that i now have personal info program and the finish so what i do is i enter my name here email residential address then i click on next i enter my last school attended next i select my courses then i click on next and this is where i want to upload my image i select this then i click on open and i certify that the information provided above is correct then i go ahead and click on submit and my form is submitted awesome now if i come to my email i have the message right here i open it up and you see the information i filled the form with this is the image right here and if i go to the back end of my website then i click on forms going down this is my form right here i can just drop down the arrow and i see the form submissions here you see number of views meaning it has been viewed six times with one submission and then the conversion rate so if i click on the submissions and i drop down the arrow here you see the same information i fill with perfect one thing i can also do is that if i go to forms then i edit the form the pagination i click on the edit field icon then i go over to settings the progress bar indicator at the moment it is set to steps you can also change it to progress bar let's see how it will come up i select it then i click on apply update it is saved let's check it on the front end i refresh the page and now you see progress bar right here so if i try to fill the form then i click on next you see i now have 66 percent and you see the movement of the progress bar next see i now have 100 percent awesome so that's it on how to create a multi-step form in wordpress using forminator now if you want to create a form like this one right here i'll leave a video link to it in the description down below i'll also leave it on your screen right now go ahead and watch it and i'll see you in that video all right guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one